Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we're hanging out here on the Citadel server just outside of West Hill, picking up where we left off on the pumpkin farm along the West Road. And we were working on the pumpkin farm house actually on Thursday. And I think we're going to pick up where we left off. I was having a good time with it. I uh, finished the gardens and the little bits of detail along the grounds along the base out here on the outside. And I think what I want to do is work on the roof and after that i don't know if we're going to do the inside right now it might be a good idea to do it i mean little touches like maybe an orange bed just to kind of keep with the theme maybe we'll sort out the lighting um, i certainly want to do the roof first because that's going to affect how it looks on the inside because of the different textures that we add to the roof on the front i have a little bit more texture happening and i want to do the same thing on the back so we've got a few things to to change and we'll start probably with the actual roof texture uh if folks are unaware i'm basing this off of an evolution i think it's evolution 312 213 evolution 213 i had my numbers backwards and uh that is uh, kind of the inspiration we're doing our own thing but the palette is kind of where we started and i actually i think i can put a small one up in the top left hand corner just so we can kind of have a reference as to what I'm looking at. I should open that up on my own machine actually now that I think about it so I can have a, a decent sized reference as well. I uh, I never used to think that three monitors would be what I would want for streaming but the more that I do Minecraft stuff and with the chat room and the Streamlabs notifications and everything else more and more I think you know Instead of just buying an, a new monitor, because my, my secondary monitor is old and I really, I really do need to replace it. Um, but <laughs> uh, more so than replacing it, I think, well, if I buy a new monitor, then I could use that as the one that I need to see things crisply and clearly on. And then this old monitor, rather than getting rid of it, because it is really ugly, uh, it would then be my third monitor. I just, for whatever reason, I don't want to give up give up the space sorry now that I have a reference image for me it should be good and we'll turn off shaders too orange bed when there are pink beds to choose I I think someone put you up to that Sandy I'm not going to say who, but I, I do think that someone, someone has put you up to that. I guess we can just make a regular white bed or do I already have an orange bed somewhere? I already have an orange bed right here. We'll just switch them. This might be too loud. It might not be the subtle orange that I'm looking for. It's okay. It's not ideal. The brown bed actually might be a little bit warmer <laughs> and less less obnoxious. So we'll go with that. Uh, I think we're just going to go with a scratch inventory. Start things off. Getting low on rooted dirt. All right, I need composters. Nice V1DS man. I don't know how you say your lead speak name. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Uh, looking for composters. We are going to need all of the spruce things. We need more spruce. We are going to start there. You know what? I think that might be a decent way to get the stream going. Uh, 
Uh, I've got my axe. I just need to put this up on something. Scaffolding. We're going to need scaffolding for the roof anyway. Oh, I had some. Need some dirt. Don't know why I was trying to count. Doesn't really matter. Now this should be high enough that it won't affect the bottom. Oh no. I think that's the first time I've ever been caught in the tree. That bone meal took forever. That or this is just a massive tree. Oh, it's a massive tree. Holy crap. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever grown a spruce tree this big. Like I've already taken off like 12 or 14 blocks vertically. Like this is as tall as anything that I've built in the town. Like, hold on. Just, just typically you just mine yourself down, but I just, I have to back up here for a second. Wow. <laughs> like, sure. I, I put it up four blocks above the ground, but that is a huge tree. Sometimes it sucks when you have to cut them down for resources because they can look really cool. So I had no, no spruce logs in my inventory at all. None. So we'll just see how many logs we get from this one tree. I can see why Pixarus does this once a week. Just stocks up on everything. So that is almost two stacks from one tree. Wild. I'm probably going to need more room. Well, if you need to get Podzol, this is an easy way to do it because it's um, it's really unfortunate how wide it spreads because if you don't want it to, then the spread of the Podzol when you grow the tree uh, really goes far and wide. I'm not sure how many stacks we need. Probably just three. Imagine this will do it. Yep, I'll call that a quick harvest. We'll catch some saplings. I think I started off with 11, so we're already even with where we needed to be. And what things are we low on? We've got stripped. I'll grab some extra all over wood blocks.
I'll get some regular planks. I need trapdoors and slabs. And we'll get some stairs too. I don't think I'm going to need more composters. What else goes in the roof? Let me just get a closer look. Signs. Maybe some mangrove. But mostly spruce. I like that they've got some uh, fences and some bushes in there too. Signs, fences. We should be good. Uh, is it because of the two by two is on potsole? Two by two creates potsole. Yes. Yeah. 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 So that's that's why I grew it up in the air. It's you need to have three blocks. So you need to be one, two, three, and then grow the tree at least that high. Uh, if I didn't, then there'd be a portion of this dirt and grass down here that would turn into potsole. And I just didn't really feel like digging it up and replacing it. So I've made that mistake before where you do it like near a build. Like if you grow the spruce tree and you think you're going to grow it on stone or something, like you just put a single layer down. And what happens is it reaches like all the way over here. So if like this was like a, a garden that you made, then any remaining dirt or grass blocks would get turned into puzzle. So if you're doing it, do it somewhere as like a designated tree growing area or like I said here, just like a platform above above the ground and the bone meal ender pearl trick i want to say that's a paul soros jr thing that i picked up from ages ago ages and ages ago when i was first learning minecraft I don't remember whether I used stripped or not. I do know that we want to make some more signs. What on earth could you want Podzol for? I, I guess it might have some uses. If I was building in a taiga biome, I could see it maybe being useful. I don't really find it that great of a block. I find it's just a little bit too... It's too hard to work in with other textures. I mean, maybe. I could see it maybe being used in like a Badlands biome or something. I need to re-examine actually. Does it look good next to rooted dirt? It's not terrible. It's like you'd need something to blend in between, but like it's possible that you could use it, but not as like your main. I feel like it would be used more like a uh like a texture highlight block as opposed to the main block. The kind of places where I've used Podzol texture. I've often used um, soul sand and coarse dirt. So I've used like soul sand, soul soil, and rooted muddy mangrove roots here. 
to be like pine needles and stuff. I find that works a lot better. Oh, granite. We need granite blocks, granite stairs, and granite slabs. I don't think I want to get into the other types. So I did have some spruce that looks like spruce planks maybe yeah and I definitely want to go planks on the ridge of the roof and I might even get a little bit of um... oh, where can I go up here I guess here might even do like a little flip up here at the edge and then I think maybe we'll also try to get it a little bit lower here Now this end, maybe we'll try the different stair, although that might not work as well with the trapdoor. I gotta remember that when I'm building these roofs, I still have my ability to use my camera rather than jumping up and jumping down. I like the lower part. I think we just have to make that a little bit wider. Maybe we'll switch these. Yeah, that works. Definitely feels like a thunderstorm. It's dark. All right, so we've got composters on the edges. I don't know if I want to mirror that. I guess it would make the most sense to do that. It brings a lot of red, which is nice. And if I was to put another one, I would say probably like right in here.
And I have to do that from... No, I guess probably do it here. They're not directional, so... Do that, and then... Here it gets a little bit tricky. I think maybe here would be good. I don't know whether two in a row would look good or not. I like the color it adds in here, so we'll leave it for now. But you can see why I wanted to do the roof first, because it starts to really change what's visible in here. Man, I know, it's raining outside here, and I made a post on Instagram earlier saying like, oh well, rainy day, I guess I can't eat breakfast on the balcony. However, like this time last year, my province was on fire because it was so dry. So quite happy to not have forest fires right now. I say that and I know obviously that some of the prairie provinces in British Columbia are dealing with some severe fires. So I I definitely appreciate the the hardship that those folks are going through, but then also very happy that we are not also going through the same thing again. How did I do this? This is just, it's really mostly wood. The, it's the, the granite is a little bit more sparse than one would think. It's a lot of jungle. It's a lot of, a lot of jungle wood. Did I ever use jungle, like stripped jungle on the other side? No, stripped spruce is what I use. I wonder if that would look okay with a composter. Nah, I might. Well, we'll try it. The nice things about doing these builds when you've got two pretty symmetrical gables is that you can try a couple different techniques and if you like one more than the other, then you can just kind of seesaw back and forth till you reach something that you like. If I did that, I feel like we'd have to tone it down a bit. I might like that. I think we have to wait until the sun comes back out. So he still hasn't moved. And I wonder if he's stuck. Delara subscribing at tier one, 34 months, loving the color palette on the roof. Thanks very much. It's not completely my idea. I'm making it my own, but we are working from this image here from Evolution 213 as a color palette inspiration. You know, I think I do like that. Maybe we don't do it with all jungle. Like maybe we'll take a little bit of inspiration from the other side that I did. And we'll add in spruce sign. Oop, not with the D on it. Especially if we can do this little detail. And it may be fun 
to actually add uh, dyed details. So maybe the nails have been up there so long they've rested a little bit and we can use some color. Wandering trader. I'm in the middle of something. But if he's by chance got mini blocks that I can use, I should probably check it out. It's a subtle, subtle change, but I think it does help. We can do that on this one and leave them black. Like it's, it's very, very subtle, but I like the one on the right better. As you wander closer to being in my face, sir, what do you have on offer? Uh, dripstone mini block is good. Sand. I don't know if we've had much for sand. That's good. Gold. Blackstone. Interesting. Ah, you know what? We're going to get a few things here. Tough observers and chiseled stone. And polished blackstone, blackstone, polished blackstone, and slime block. And what else do you have? Chiseled polished block? I don't know if I have any of those. We'll get chiseled polished black stone. We'll get dripstone, tube coral, sand. Furnace, I guess. Oh, we're getting a lot. Go dripstone, bubble coral, sand. Chiseled, polished, blackstone. I hate the names of the blackstone. They're so long. And what was the other one? I think it was Deep Slate. Furnace, cobble Deep Slate, and raw gold. Sticky Piston. That was cobble deep slate. I can remember that. Okay. Uh, we don't have enough room. Surprise. I don't know if I have enough emeralds. You might have to be very picky. Don't think I have deep slate out here. I do have chiseled stone bricks somewhere. Bubble coral is over here. Blackstone is going to be inside. Tough observers and chiseled stone. Observer, slime block, sticky piston. Tough. Tough observes a chisel stone. So we'll just do this in order. Tough. Chiseled stone. Blackstone, polished blackstone, slime block. Dripstone, bubble coral sand. 
Dripstone. Where is that? Dripstone, bubble coral. Sand is over here. Um, Scotsman, thanks for the list as well. Appreciate that. Land block, dripstone, bubble coral, sand, chiseled, polished, blah, 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 blah. Furnace. Furnace. Raw gold, cobbled deep slate. That's going to be inside. All right. We've got to go scoot inside the, uh, the keep here. It's always fun to see how far inside the keep I can get without smacking into something. Raw gold. I don't have enough raw gold, I don't think. I guess I could break some of these. Is it breaking them or smelting them? I don't remember. Do you smelt these for raw gold? Uh, cobble, deep slate, and then all the blackstone. I might not have enough room in my inventory here. Breaking? Cool. Thank you. Uh, blackstone. It was... Blackstone, polished blackstone, and chiseled polished blackstone. So, blackstone, polished blackstone, chiseled polished blackstone. I probably have to make that with two slabs, right? I think that's everything. Yep. Smelting gives you the ingots, right? Okay, cool. So I unfortunately think I've got more blocks than I do emeralds. Yeah, so I'm going to pick a few of these that I want first. I'd say this is the one I don't think I have very many of. I know I don't have a lot of sand. I know I've got some of those. Uh, I know I've used a lot of those. This could be fun in the sci-fi world. I'm curious as to what this would look like. We'll get that too. I know I want the gold and then three more, so I don't have enough. So I'll have to put the gold down first. Mending Salt Touch. That's what I want there. No room at the inn. Frustration. Kate also has the fact that I had no clue you could craft chisel blocks like that is kind of wild. I think that's how you craft normal chisel blocks, right? Like if I take is it stone bricks, 
Uh, I don't have any slabs. I mean, you can do it this way, right? But before we got the stone cutter, you could just take two stone slabs and make the same, same thing. Uh, gold. I need to put this down. Sorry for all the bopping back and forth in the inventory. Right, so that leaves. I know I've got a lot of tough and cobble deep slate, so I think I'll do the sticky piston. And you know what? We'll do the blackstone. Oh, that's not the right one. Polished blackstone bricks. Oh, well, I guess we're not getting that one. And I guess we'll get the slime. All right. Done. And now we have to find space for all of these things. Let's just put them back in the block storage. We just got distracted buying a bunch of stuff from the wandering trader. But uh, it's not something I would necessarily do all the time. But because I've got a new project that I want to move on to after this, I'm kind of in this small mental real estate idea of like whenever I have the ability to grab more of something cool. I tend to do it. Oh, we already had a lot of those. Had a lot of slime too. Anything with bright colors? Oh, I didn't get the tube coral. Oh, that's all right. We have 40 of those anyway. And I think that's all. Now we just have to put a few things away and we're good. It's a little funny how much time that takes. So I obviously do not spend a lot of time farming emeralds because I have very few. I think that brings us back to where we were. He would just be in my face again anyway. All right. Some of the stuff I know I put back, so I'll need 
to dig some of this back out. I think I put jungle stairs and planks back. I don't know that I tried to look at some darker wood. No, mostly planks. Oh, I put the die back. It does not take me long to expand my Shulker Island to something formidable. I think we need to do spruce underneath the top here. I would, however, be open to doing um, one of those fence gates as jungle fence gate. And I'm kind of wondering whether they would look better open or shut. And I don't have one. I do hope they give us the extension to the Wandering Trader. They uh, they were pondering where they'd be able to buy things that might make them more interesting. Yeah, I mean, the fact that we have the data pack is the only reason I find them useful at all. Uh, if we did not have the data pack, we as a server might even just turn them off. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're a great thing to have in the early game, but, you know, or in things like Superflat or um, Skyblock. I can't decide if I like that, but I think I do like the, the multi-color. I think that's good. And I think I do like the um, composters. Yeah. How did I do this bottom part? This is upside down stairs with trapdoors. Yeah, you know what? It does look better with uh, different colors. So I'll build another jungle trapdoor. I thought that was going to look better, but I prefer the jungle sign. I think it looks good over here because of all the different jungle that's around it. So we'll leave it like that. I don't really mind the jungle stair up here. It's a little different, but I think the fact that we've got spruce stair underneath it, it's probably fine.
Thanks for the lurk, K doll. Appreciate it. I think it was the top one that I replaced before. Yeah, so we'll do the bottom one maybe on this side. I feel like we need a little bit more spruce over here. The bottom of the roof seems to be a little bit more spruce heavy. Hmm. I guess we'll go with jungle. I want to keep some of these um these granite pieces. Let's put the composters in here. Because we decided we like that. My Trip Media with 100 bits. Thank you ever so much. Hope you're having a fantastic day. I'll try a dark sign just to see. Although, it might not be the best. It definitely looks cooler with a different sign, but maybe we switch them up. I think I like that better. And this, we just have to decide what we're going to have here. I would imagine the other side, I had some stripped spruce up there, I think, to help blend things along. I think we'll do the same thing over here. Do I have that? I must have put that one back. Just want to do it in the exact same spot. So not three over. Although maybe we will do it in the same spot. Oh, I want to see what jungle wood looks like here. Oh no, too much green. I forget about the green.
We also had some barrels that we were using. I feel like that would help there too. Break up a lot of the very basic, I guess, repetitive stair shape. Oh, totally. And then this can be wood. Or maybe we can just do double trapdoor. I like that actually. Don't want that to be granite as well. So granite, granite. I did sort of connect them in a lot of places. So here, because of the spruce inside, I'll probably go Jungle there, and then spruce here. And then we'll probably go jungle again right here. Do I want to go that way or do I want to go the other way? Oh, it was more interesting the other way because we saw the uh, the spruce from the inside, which I think was cool. I don't know what that is. I think it's part of the kitchen. Yeah, it's probably that. Oh, that's totally what it is. Cool. Love it when some happy accidents happen. Because it you don't very often get a chance in Minecraft to have a quarter of a block showing. I'm okay with that being granite. This will probably go back to jungle. Curious if I can make this strip spruce. Yeah, I think that's good because there's going to be a lot of plank texture around it. I think that's good. It really does look kind of like a mishmash in here. I know we've got hanging signs, but it's too bad that we can't put signs flat on the bottom of things. Like It would be nice if I could put a sign on the bottom there. Still feeling very heavy on the granite, so maybe we need to dial that back a little bit too. I think maybe we'll get rid of this one. Yeah, I might might have to do something with that in here. Hmm. 
Not sure. That's not bad. Maybe if we do jungle. Oh, that's not jungle. Yeah, there we go. Still visually interesting, but then not nothing too crazy. Now that is a stair. Time to spruce up the coffee with a break, says Sweet Sandy. Thanks for the reminder. Appreciate it. Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. So that must be that stair right there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Do we want to keep that? I think we do. We could always do this. I like that. I think that kind of flows across there pretty well. Now, do I want to do... I don't know what I want to do here for the shape of the back door. I think they're fine the way that they are. It's coming together. It's getting there. It's not quite the same as what we've got in the image. I mean, I'm obviously trying to make it my own. The biggest difference is that it's a much larger roof in the reference. I've got less room to work with. All right. For folks that are new to the channel, if you're tuning in for the first time today, I take a break once an hour. Gives me a chance to zap the coffee, grab another glass of water, get up from the chair. You should too. Uh, I think I got my trip media's bits unless they sent more bits, but I'll thank my trip media again because my trip media sends bits every single stream. Uh, so again, thanks to my trip media, uh, and folks, if you want to support the stream, there's a couple of ways you can do it while I'm on break. Uh, check out things like patreon.com slash Joel Duggan and, uh, check out the Streamlabs donation link, uh, down below the video in the about section. Uh, it takes you to a donation link that goes right to PayPal and it's probably the most efficient way to support me uh, on stream for like a one-off thing. And if you, that way, if you're not into buying like, you know, Twitch subs or Twitch bits or whatever, you can just do straight up, you know, whatever your currency is. Uh, I really appreciate the support. I'll be back in about five or six minutes.
So let's just take a look at this from afar. I do lose a little bit of the form. The overall roof shape is okay, but you don't really see the parts that stick out very well. I wonder if that means that I need to do a little bit more spruce or something around them. Yeah, I wonder if this, some of these end up needing to be more spruce related. Can I get up in here? No, I can't. It's weird how the granite kind of takes away sometimes from the definition. Also, I've decided that that is far, far too bright. So let's try. Can I dye this from here? Yes. Yep, I think we'll go with brown. Certainly brown over over the uh, the orange. Thanks, True Purple. Thanks, Sandy. Okay. I guess I probably don't need that either. No, we're good. I think I'm going to want to remove these two. And I don't know whether here's a good opportunity to do another trapdoor. No, it looks a little bit silly. What I could do is trapdoor up here. Yeah, that helps. And I think I mentioned that granite on the edge is not so clear so I'll also take some granite out of here that's okay Sometimes these decisions are really slow. Mm. A lot going on right there. Do I have any granite on the roof? I'm just a little bit there. 
I know I may have to come back to this after this pass and maybe remove some of the texture. It might be a little bit on the noisy side. Now I don't have any spots along here to put up one of these little fences. And I saw that a lot in the reference material too. You can see there's a lot of fences throughout, kind of hanging underneath things. And I have not had a chance to do that. I think that's mostly because of the scale. I think that looks okay. I may... I may want to tone down the amount of wood in the back door, maybe? Definitely have a lot more composters. In the, or do I? One, two, three, four. That's the end. One, two, three. I, I've got one more. Not a lot more. <laughs> Feels like a lot more. Uh, maybe we can do a spruce sign here. Yeah, that helps a little bit. All right, I think I'm gonna call that a, a complete pass on the on the roof texture. I will come back and revisit it if it starts to bug me. Uh, but I think what I'll do is we'll do the chimney as well. So that's also gonna be done. And I don't see us reinventing the wheel with this. It's gonna be very similar to what we have over there, I think. Um, it's not gonna have any smoke coming out of it, I don't think. One of the things we can look at is where the smoke plume would be coming from. So it would be right there. Which wouldn't be bad. So maybe we do add one. It would also tie in nicely with the roof with the spruce, the spruce trap doors around it. So maybe we'll add one just to kind of see what that would look like. Keep those. All right, um, signs, so we need bricks, crack bricks, cobblestone, tough, maybe some mossy. And we may need andesite. And tough. Can 
going to be exploring a lot of options. I should just make a new campfire. Doors, good. Okay. Welcome back from the lurk, K doll. Appreciate it. So right away, we know we've got some of this mossy stuff going on here. So we could absolutely have some mossy brick down here. Oh, maybe not on that one. That one maybe we'll just do cracked. That's good. Now here, that is, I want that to be a full block. So we'll do cracked there. I forgot to bring stairs and slabs. Got one slab. That was meant for the top. Basically, I want to get it higher than that stair. That might be a little bit noisy. Maybe we replace this. Maybe I'll put that there and I'll go get some slabs. I feel like that works pretty well. You we might actually be able to scoot in here with a bush and some vines. I didn't know that we could fit in between two trapdoors like that. That's really interesting. Huh. And then I guess the top would be Probably just the way that it is. That or we could use, I think I've got polished andesite inside. What did I use on the floor plates there? Yeah, polished andesite. Maybe I'll do a little polished andesite at the top. So we could leave it like that. Uh, with no smoke and what I would do is probably add in something like this right so we could leave it like that it's a little tall I might knock that down a block replace that cobblestone block with the actual uh, wall. And where did that go? Way over there. So option one would be that. That's the right height, for sure. Just kind of peeks out.
And then alternatively, I could put a fire up here. And I guess I would do it on this brick. This or one higher? I do like the pumpkin patch. I mean, adding motion is great. I think that, that that helps. Question is, do I want it to be another block higher? Option three is the smokestack, Sandy. Is that what you mean? I mean, we wouldn't see the flames. I, have, I haven't put the other sides on it. Yeah, I think so too. If I do that though, I think that top block is going to be replaced by a um cuz you you can put a wall underneath the campfire. It's not the end of the world. But what I was thinking is that we would do this. So it looked like that. Lost the top, yeah. So that's what I was thinking was. Although, see, that to me looks very tall and unsupported. So if we do that, I might have to do something a little bit more over here, which could be cool. Like it could add some interesting design to it. Because you, you'd see that in different architecture. I feel like I've seen that on my Pinterest board where some of the chimneys are like supported. So here you can see, whoops, you can see just a little bit of the stone from the road. From the road angle, you need the height. Yeah, I agree. It feels like a really big chimney compared to the other one. It's the only thing. Although the other house has got two. Right, the other house has got like a little a stove chimney and then it's got a fireplace chimney. Yeah, yeah, I know it looks solid. I think it just looks I mean it, it does look unsupported to me. Uh it would look better, I think, at that height if it was one block in, which we could do that too. We don't have to have it be directly where it is. We could, we could notch it in by a block. See, this is tall, but it's it's right up against the the roof there, so it it only has like a block and a half, right? That it's. Uh, like kind of separate from the roof, whereas this has got three and a half blocks, right? So it's one, two, three. Yeah, so it's it's twice as separate from the other, from the roof as the other one. I wonder if I could, so the option is I could put a stair in here somewhere, right? And have the chimney be in this space. If I did that, we might lose the visibility of it. So let's just see. This is where Minecraft is just too easy to trial and error stuff. So you might as well just give it a go. 
So one, two, three. I'm so glad that those don't break when you move stuff from underneath them. Uh, I think it was that, and then this, and then this. Whoops, that's a fire. So either way, I still have to build up the roof, I think, to touch it more. Uh, and then what we would do over here is this block would be a stair and I would probably move this stuff a little bit closer closer in which I think it would make this look a little bit more interesting so there is that my iron leggings uh just makes my life a little bit harder on the server it's a way to increase the difficulty for me without um increasing it for everybody else and I also just think that um for the longest time before we had netherite I didn't like um diamond armor I thought it looked stupid so it was two like it was i don't want to be blue smurf pants and i wanted it to be harder uh i just haven't bothered because netherite was such a pain to upgrade to so the netherite boots are there because i needed the durability with all the jumping off of stuff i do um the iron sort of matches a little bit on the white shirt cuffs that i have but i could it, this could very easily go um, netherite everything. I think the other thing too is that when I switch to the sci-fi zone, I might try to update my, I might try to update my, um, my skin to be like a sci-fi space suit. Like maybe I'll get like a X-wing pilot jumpsuit skin or something. I just think it'd be kind of fun to do something unique. Um, when I go back to work on the modern city as well, I think I want to get like a construction hat, like a like an orange construction hat. I just think it'd be fun. The only thing about putting the campfires up there is that, of course, they put out light level 15. So it feels weird that the roof of your place is lit up at night. It's the Citadel server, which is what it says in the title of the video. It's about seven years old. Coming up on seven years old. July 14th, July 10th, something around that area. Alistair knows the number. So yeah, so even if I do this, I'd have to still support it a little bit more. And maybe that's where we can get those fences in there. Right? So like we could still do something like this. Right? And even that helps just a little bit. So bringing it closer actually means you get to see, I think, more of the stone. Yeah. That's about the same. I think I like that better. What do we think, chat? It's funny, like, we think about it uh, so much up close, but most of the time it's going to be viewed from a far away. So, I'm trying to get like a. I think I like the height. I don't want it to be any lower. So, that part's cool. I'm not in love with the um, polished. I 
did the small one over there too. Hmm. All right, well, let's get some stone stairs. And we'll see if we can make this a better shape. Ah, uh, that's going to be tricky, so that means this is going to go. That doesn't matter, though, because... Uh, let's put maybe tough in there. Nope, we'll just go straight bricks, I think. And then... That will go there. Maybe cobble. Oh no, wait a minute. We'll put cracked there. And then this one, maybe we'll try to put the stair that way. Or maybe I did that wrong. Maybe we have to do another stair here. Yeah, that looks better. I do kind of wonder if we switch the um, andesite and stone brick, though. And just for fun. I don't think this is going to look very good, but... No, 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 no. Nope. Sometimes you got to try the stuff you know is going to look terrible just to confirm that you were right. I think I might like the cracked brick better than the um, polished. Cracked is better? Yeah. I think the polished, for whatever reason, the polished just looks bigger. I don't know why. I mean, from this distance, it just needs to be gray. Um, but yeah, the, for whatever reason, maybe it's because of the way that they've got the, the highlights on it, but the polished blocks, I find that they just look bigger by comparison. You've got like that, and then you've got that. I mean, we both know that those are the same size, but for me, that one tends to be a little bit bigger as an optical illusion. I th and I think it's because of the highlights. No. 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 Get out of here.
That guy would be following me around the rest of the stream. Yeah, I think that's a solid, solid change. Now, uh, while I think about it, I also somewhere have vines and mangrove. I guess I should restock this. So what I was thinking is we could potentially remove this, put that there, maybe tie these together a little bit. I like the bush better. Ah, uh, the vine is not going to grow. No, we have the, um, Vine growth turned off. Now, do I want grass there? I think I decided against that last time. We didn't finish this last stream because I wanted to do the chimney texture before I started doing the little garden by the chimney. It might look better as a fern. I think that might be the best way to go. That or we try to add another flower, but I feel like that feels more like it should be overgrowth than anything else. And then up here, we can take this and maybe Add a little bit. Now, some of these blocks in the roof are visible from the inside, so I may not be able to add the same level of greenery that I want. Yeah, what is it? It's um, it's a command line. It's a... Uh, um, Game, rule, do, vine spread. So we've got that turned to false. And so it just means that, it, it means that your vine farm won't work. So there's that. You have to collect your vines from growing like jungle trees or mangrove trees. But I think it's a small price to pay for the ability to place the vines exactly where you want them. So here, I would, you know what? We could even squeeze it right in there. I'm really tempted to have it go off in this direction. Sort of wondering whether I could really break this up and actually replace this.
don't think I like that. That's kind of cool. Can I attach another one to the bottom? No. So that's the other thing is that uh, I don't know. Oh yeah, you can do that. I don't like it, but you, you could if you wanted to. So I'm wondering if I can uh, see that granite block and I can't. So one of the things we can do here to kind of add to the illusion that this is kind of creating a mossy roof is we can get rid of this. Oh, and fall off my scaffolding. And then we can get rid of this, which is not visible from the inside. Replace that and then put that back and then maybe even get rid of that too. Nope, that was better. That was fine where it was. That's fine. Oh, there's a sign there. That's why I can't do anything. I think that works. It's a little bit strange here. I don't know whether this would look better with a fence post. No, it looks like it's trying to be a tree branch, but then it's not really being a tree branch. I wonder if a slab would look better there. Turing, hello, hello. Hope you're having a good afternoon. I think I like the trapdoor better. I'm wondering if what I'm missing is actually replacing that stair. Now this might be visible from the inside. That's the only thing I've got to think about. And it is. So I can't replace that with a green block. So I'll put that back. If I was to do that. Yeah, no, I'd, I'll leave that the way that it is. That's fine. I was thinking I could make this a little bit more dense if I could create that as a green block, but I don't think that's really necessary. I could change that stripped combo with a sign into spruce planks and then just put a carpet there, but I don't I don't think that would really be good. So, I think I'll just I'll call that finished. I don't think that this would look good as mossy. Do I have a mossy brick? I do. Hmm. You know what? I think that actually works okay. Maybe we can do mossy brick stair as well. Actually, I wonder... I might be able to get away with a little extra detail here. Mm, big hole. No. 
I'm just experimenting here a little bit. That's better. That's better. I like that. I did lose a little bit of the cracked texture. But we don't have cracked stairs and slabs. So we're SOL there. Maybe I can weasel in plain stair or even an andesite stair. I think an andesite stair would be too much like the top box, so we'll leave that like that. I do like that. When can I move in, says Sweet Sandy? Fantastic. Oh, thanks, Cosmic. Appreciate it. So yeah, we did the roof backside uh, today, and then we also did this... Once the chimney was done, we started laying in the details around the base of the chimney. Because that had not been done. Oh, I've got to finish the support structure there, too. What do I want to do up there? I think I like what's there. I think I really just want to change the bottom block there from a stair. I think a barrel would be a good idea. And then maybe a mini block or a trapdoor. I don't seem to have, did I bring one? There's mini blocks over here somewhere. Yes. Barrels I have, trapdoors I have. So I'm thinking we get rid of this. Now, if this is going to be a problem that is visible from the inside, however, this might actually look cool. If I can actually target the fence post. It's a fun little detail that gives me the proper texture underneath that and then really there's just like little details like that visible and you can't see it from up here anyway uh, so the other thing would be do I want to put like a trapdoor here this is probably going to be too much yeah so maybe what we do here is Replace that with a barrel. Maybe. It's a lot of trap doors. So I might try to come up with different way to look at that uh, I could put a fence gate there or I could add this I 
I think a fence gate might look better. Is there no one else currently engaged on the private server? Uh, there's just no one online right now. There's only about uh, six of us. I think that's probably the better solution. I guess the question is, if I did it the other way around, then I could hide the barrel. And then those run the same direction that the planks do. I don't know, did it look better the other way around? I think it does look better that way, doesn't it? Yeah, okay. Mission complete on the outside. Did we need to change anything in here? Uh, that is, that might not grow on me. I feel like it's all right. Uh, I don't think we really changed too much that needs covering up. That's a stair. The rafters still look pretty good to me. That was the only part that really stood out. That's got a trap door there. On one hand, that does look cool, but I could use an armor stand statue data pack to put some stuff on the shelf up there. So that's probably what I'm going to do. That's jungle stairs. That's better. I like a little asymmetry over the mantle there. I do wish we had smaller, smaller blocks than that, but I think that's good. Now, do I think I do want a spot there. I'm not sure what we would use that for. This is obviously going to be like a kitchen prep area. We'll have some water in there. Do I have a bucket? I have a bucket. So we'd have to, maybe we can put something in there that would make sense. So I'll leave the interior design for next time. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do about this dark oak. I feel like that might be a temporary thing. There also, I feel like there needs to be a little bit more happening over the door here. We have the same sort of... Same sort of vibe going there. It's that or a trapdoor. I like the sign better.
Uh, maybe we have a city view. Some new people in chat. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, who's live right now? Is there anybody that's doing some Minecraft stuff? That's not on brick. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Oh, Ginger's live? Cool. How, how come I don't see Ginger being live? Sorry, Great Lakes World is live too. Cool. Yeah, so I'll do the details in here in another stream. We already really did the rafters and I don't really see much that needs to change. I think we might add like a, a lantern or something. Uh, I wish we could hang extinguished lanterns that wouldn't like make this even brighter because of course the fireplace is pretty bright. Although I might, I might actually have that fireplace be extinguished and use another light source in here. I think it'd be better for candles and things like that. Um, on such a small fireplace, I do find having them lit is a little bit odd. Plus, if we extinguish it, then we can change the bottom to something that looks more like charcoal. Not a bad day. Not a bad day overall. We'll get some sleep and some shaders here. I'm going to empty my inventory so that tomorrow I can start fresh on whatever the next step is going to be. I never thought to try to see if dripstone would look good. And my frame rates drop a lot when I switch to shaders. And I've got a lot of shulker boxes around. So we really didn't change much on the front of the house. It was mostly from the gable side, but I think that looks pretty good still has a very orange vibe you really do lose the edge whenever we've used granite on the borders of the roof there doesn't seem to be a lot of logic in the roof i think that's maybe the one thing that's bugging me normally what i do is i'll have like a rule that say um spruce on the lower part jungle on the top part and then sprinkle granite higher up but i don't really seem to have much of a rule i do have a lot more spruce on the bottom which i think is effective because it's the darker of the different textures but i'm sort of vamping and killing time here until we can sleep so i can have the sun come up but it looks really cool on this end with the sunset i like that that's fun. There are secret things in West Hill City. Yes. Yep. We've got some. There's lots of different things. Secret passages. Just fun stuff. Connecting two builds underneath the street just for fun. Totally. There will be a tour. I, I think I'm going to try to convince Pixel Riffs to come on and hang out for a bit. The problem with that is that the project is so big now that I, I worry, I, I ask an awful lot of someone to come and do a tour. Like, I feel like that's a, that's a three hour plus stream, you know, well, not plus, but like a three hour stream, which is a good chunk of their, their day for anybody that, that would do it. So, all right, let's sleep and we'll take another look in better light. I've always planned that, Sandy. I've always wanted to have a, a friend or two come on. 
I don't know whether that should be a guided tour by me or whether I should just follow them and like see where the build kind of pushes them and where they want to go. So from the ground, from the player's perspective, I think it looks pretty good. It definitely looks better with shaders on. It looks a little bit muddy without the shaders, but the shaders really help bring out some of the highlight blocks. I like the back of the home a lot better than I like the front. But we did all this today, the chimney, all the texture on the back of the roof. Uh, the texture on the back of the roof took a long time. We also spent about 10, 15 minutes um, messing with the wandering trader. Yeah, I think I've just got more spruce wood maybe on the back, which helps. I mean, the chimney helps break it up a bit too. Well, you know, maybe it's maybe it's all in my head. I don't know. All right, let's get a couple of views from over here. So we were battling with the height of the chimney, uh, the textures on the gable. With the shaders, it also helps that you don't lose the roof shape so much because the, the shadows with the um, the dormers, like it, it really works out pretty well. Yeah, I think we're looking pretty good. I mean, shaders, sure, they often help, but I find that something that's uh, difficult with shaders is that depending on the shaders that you're using, sometimes they give blocks that get hit with light a much brighter face. And so if you're using something as a highlight block in Minecraft without text, without shaders, you can sometimes not realize how bright it's going to be when you turn shaders on. I find that, for example, um, I do these little like, uh, where are they? These little sunken bush things. And I they look a lot better without shaders because here they get very highlighted, right? Like see how bright all that is? right? It's meant to be a little bit more subdued, but when I turn shaders off, it looks a lot more like what I want. Um, what happens, I think, with shaders is that you lose... It's not that you lose the shadows, but the, the tops get so bright that they, they don't blend in much with the blocks next to them. They tend to stand out a lot. So instead of receding, they tend to uh, protrude from the ground. Right, okay. Uh, let's just see. Somebody wanted an overview of the town. So let's just... So that's the scale that we've been working at down there. And from a map view, that's kind of where we're at. Doesn't really look like much of a house. It's really lost its shape because of all the different textures we've got. That's interesting. Whereas like the, this one feels very much like a dwell, like a building. So does that. Um, these other ones have really strict kind of like edges. So that might be something to take away from that and maybe, maybe implement a little bit more of a solid edge. Maybe we need to turn these into spruce on the edges and maybe that will help define it. I know the map is not the be all end all, but it's pretty good. So what we're doing now is just kind of filling in these gaps in these big green areas just outside the town. So the town looks like it's been here a while. Uh, I don't yet know what I'm doing here. Don't ne yet know what I'm doing there. We do have an another farm that's going in there and we want also want to revamp some of this area in here. Uh, we'll kind of like mesh these areas together. Uh, but the last several weeks we've been working on this patch through here. So we did the lilac farmstead before and now we're working on the pumpkin farm. And I was just taking a break from doing the pumpkin fields. We worked out a pretty decent way to do custom pumpkin fields, but now I just kind of like wanted to get the house sorted and we'll have some other cool stuff around the back here. I'm not sure what just yet. Um, but then we've got swampland and the main gate of course but then the town if you're new to the stream this is about three and a half years of just me and it is something like 20 i'd say 21 chunks from the edge of the wall to the mountain but it also goes beyond that because we did texture the part of the mountain that faces us we did add things like the graveyard so it actually goes quite a ways like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten is only about a third of the way, so it's probably closer to twenty-five or twenty-eight chunks. And then it's like just the towns one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, 
eight, eight and a bit within the main town, but then you've also got low town and you've got the roads and stuff. So, you know, between eight and 12 chunks, north, south. Uh, but it, it's, uh, it's something I'm really proud of. It's, it's taken a while, but just like anything else, slow and steady wins, wins the race. And we get to add all kinds of fun details over time. All the landscaping is done around it. There's a lot of really cool things here. And uh, if, you, if you like what you're seeing, there's also Joel Dog and VODs on YouTube. So you can go and uh, check that out and see real time, no edits, uh, any kind of project. They're usually named so things like the leather shop or the bakery or the uh, magistrate for the dock, like all that kind of stuff is labeled so you can pretty much figure out you know, what you want to watch and how you want to watch it. It goes all the way back to 2020, I want to say, fall 2020. And uh, if you want to see more up close, then uh, just stick around because like as I work and as I come back to my main storage and get more things, uh, as I need to go back to spawn town and get more supplies, we tend to walk those. We tend to hang out on stream. I'll throw on some shaders and we'll go for a walk through town uh, and then go back to the main area and pick up some stuff. So you get to see the server. You get to see parts of the town. Uh, I still have to finish the inside of the keep. So that major build there, which is, where is that? It's this, this giant piece right here. So when I go to work inside there, which is coming up soon, then you'll get to see all the inner workings of that as well. And uh, as I revisit and there's probably going to be a pass where I can walk around and like fix all the tables and chairs and do a bunch of things like that. But for now, uh, I'm going to pass you along to somebody else playing Minecraft. I haven't quite figured out who's live yet. That I can do that with. I think it was Great Lakes Girl was one. I see a lot of people that normally play Minecraft, but they're playing other games. Scott Major's also live. Um, do people know Scott Major? I'm I'm only vaguely familiar with their content, but I'm sure people would have a good time there. Uh, if you do uh, bang Joel's mods in chat, you will get a link to a spreadsheet that will then link you to all of the mods that are using here on the server. Most of them are uh, UI or storage type mods um and quality of life video stuff uh we try not to do too much with gameplay the only gameplay stuff are more like data packs and they are like mini blocks from vanilla tweaks basically just think about like hermitcraft that's kind of like the level of vanilla plus that we play at it's mostly quality of life with just a few little things that we feel are pretty vanilla friendly in terms of how they look um I think Scott might have been on SOS with Pix, maybe. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But anyway, we'll send you over there. Uh, be kind. Enjoy the rest of your Minecraft afternoon. Do check out the Spawn Chunks podcast on all of your major podcasting platforms, wherever you want to listen. It's also on YouTube. We have a brand new episode 300. It's three hours. It is a Q&A vi a video. We really had a lot of fun with it. It's also our first video podcast as we go forward with a video format. Uh, you can also check out things like the Citadel Cafe podcast, as well as social media, Joel Duggan, very easy to find. And if you supported today, thank you ever so much. Uh, Bits, Streamlabs donations. Uh, if you want to check out Patreon and join the Discord, it's only $2 a month, way less than that cup of coffee. And it really helps me out a great deal. So thanks again for hanging out, folks. I will see you tomorrow at one o'clock Atlantic. That's UTC minus four hours. Bye for now.